Joel from Shalom. Thank you, Shalom. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you very much. Welcome to Israel. Thank you, it's my pleasure. Joel, it's not your first visit. That's right. What brings you to Israel this time? Well, I'm doing a special um, tribute to Sonny Rollins' show. Uh, and um, a promoter named Ziv Bain uh, put it together. Shamaim. Yes. Yeah. And I am uh, playing um, with um, a great, uh, t- another tenor saxophonist named Amit Friedman, uh, who's fantastic, okay. and a drummer named Shai Zellman. Both from the Big Apple? Uh, they have been there many times before, okay. and so um, I'm very excited about the whole thing. And Joel, uh, it's not a secret that we uh, owe you a great debt of gratitude when it comes to some Israeli jazzists mm-hmm. who made it in New York mm-hmm. and they owe it all to you. Oh, <laughs> I don't think so. I think I owe a, it to them. <laughs> modest, uh, Daniel Zamir. Yes, he's, he's You met fantastic. Daniel when he arrived in New York? That's right. He came, he came to sit in with me at my, at my gig. So, and he, he sounds amazing, as both, you know. Both of you are. Oh, thank you very both much. You. Thank you. And you just took part in uh, the recording of the new Omer Avital album? That's correct. Which means you are, no, uh, you are no stranger to Israeli jazz. This is correct, absolutely. Uh, I've played with so many Israeli musicians, uh, Anat Cohen, Avishai Cohen, the trumpet player. The trumpet player. And uh, Omer, obviously, and, and uh, many, many more. Lucky them. Oh, well, lucky but, me too. I mean, it's so know, great. But you know, enough about them. Let's <laughs> talk about Joel Fram. Okay. Joel, how did it all start for you when it comes to music? Um, well, when I was five years old, uh, my parents were at a Christmas party. And they had uh, the Charlie Brown Christmas record playing, of course. <laughs> which everyone knows. And so uh, I heard the piano playing on this record, and they tell me, I don't remember this, but they tell me I went into the next room and found the piano and started figuring out the songs. And so that surprised them. And then I became a classical piano player from there. Really? Uh, from when I was five years old, I started taking lessons. Beethoven sonatas and everything? Yeah, everything. They're very serious. Until I was about 13, and then my best friend um, in Wisconsin, which is where I grew up, uh, was playing alto saxophone in the school band, and I thought, wow, that's really cool, I like that instrument. And so I asked the band director, can I play saxophone? And he said, well, we need a tenor saxophone in the band, so here, here's this tenor saxophone, go figure it out. <laughs> that's what he told Amazing. me. Amazing. And so then what happened was my family moved to Connecticut, and I met, I ended up going to high school with the great piano player Brad Meldow and met uh, some incredible jazz musicians there and played in a really great high school jazz band. And after four years there, I decided, I got pretty good at that point and decided I was going to move to New York City and I've been there ever since. Hey, interesting. Now you are not only a wonderful performer, you're also a composer. That's correct. So how would you characterize your music if we had pushed you to the corner? and made you try to... It's hard to put, it's hard to put a label on, but I, I would say it still comes from the, the jazz tradition. So um, I'm coming from bebop, and I'm coming from also uh, rhythm and blues, and funk and soul. Um, you know, it's, it's so difficult to say words about how you compose, because it, it always comes out differently. So it's hard to say exactly. Uh, what the label is. And you told me just before we started this conversation that you are touring uh, quite extensively? That's correct. So, uh, how is it performing at home in the Big Apple compared to performing abroad? Well, the nice thing about coming abroad is that I find that the audiences are generally hungrier for the music and more and kind of more appreciative around the world. In New York sometimes there's a sense of apathy because there's so much going on that people They're maybe too used to it or something. And one Woody Allen, and, yeah, that's who's, right. been doing, who's been doing it for many years now. That's right, that's right. I'm a big fan of his too. So, um, But it's, I mean, New York is great. And, and the nice thing about New York is that there are so many musicians there. There's a big community there. So it's, um, it's a special place for that reason. 
Joel, you will give a, a few performer, perform, perform performances, performances yeah. thank you, while in Israel, one in Jerusalem, yes. and two more in Tel Aviv. In Tel Aviv, and I believe I'm going to Haifa as oh, well. Oh, wonderful. Um, and I, you know, I, unless I'm looking at my itinerary, I can't remember the rest of it so right you, now. So you basically are covering all of Israel. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit, yeah. So I, 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 I'm just here for a week. I wish it could be longer, but, uh, but it's ex- always exciting to come here. I'm sure that your loyal Israeli followers will be eager for uh, more visits. I'm looking forward to it. What can we wish Joel Frank for the future? Well, I hope that I'm able to do more of this kind of thing, to go around the world, to play my music, um, to also to meet the students, which I will do here as well. Um, I really enjoy teaching as well as playing. So, also in uh, New York? In New York as well. I teach at the New School uh, University there. Wonderful. And so also while I'm here, I'm doing some saxophone and jazz workshops to Excellent. teach the students. So. Excellent. Yeah. Joel, so we wish you debt, all debt, and much more than debt. Thank you. And do come, come and visit us again. Thank you, I certainly will. Thank you. Thank you.